The second presentation I'll be delivering is called Establishing the Asset Criticality Ranking and why it's the cornerstone of any reliability improvement program. And I truly believe it. If you uh, can build a good solid asset criticality ranking, it can help you to make so many decisions. It can help you prioritize work, prioritize where you're going to spend your, your time and your money, uh, where you're going to perform condition monitoring, how you're going to manage your spares, so much more. And we're going to go through a, a little tool to help us explain and understand the whole criticality analysis process so that you can go back and actually create your own asset criticality ranking. We'll be looking at different ways we can assess the, the consequences of failure, you know, whether it's a minor problem or a major problem. So that's looking at the consequence. And then we'll look at the likelihood of failure, whether, whether both because of the reliability or the condition monitoring technologies that you are or are not employing, um, that's the likelihood of failure and the consequence of failure. So we'll go through that, explain why you need it and how you can 